What's up? Welcome back to the Silco Suite with none other than Silco himself, Jason Spizak. Welcome. Do you ever wonder what it's like to drown? Oh my god. It's the story of opposites. <laughs> so I feel like I shouldn't be sitting behind this desk with you in the room. <laughs> I, I think th you're in my place. I think. I, I think okay, should we should we switch? I got I got packed. Get packs. away from my Here, desk. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you take over. I think that's more your. Place. I am the head of the Undercity. <laughs> The nation of Zong. <laughs> this seems and, like more and your right. And like space. Silco is having a drink, you know. He's like, yes, this is so my cool. territory. <laughs> I, this is amazing. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who watched Arcane and went on this journey with us, you know. And it's I'm so grateful for all the fans and everybody who's taken the time out of their lives to be part of League and part of the lore and yeah. to be rewarded by this beautiful story. Arcane, I'm so grateful. Yeah. Honestly, we are very, very grateful that we have you bringing Silco to life <laughs> and that you're here with us Silco, now. Silco we live. are sitting in this suite because of a character that you brought to life. And right? speaking of Silco, we have to ask you while we're here, there's been a lot of speculation over Silco's end and the final words that he said, speaking to Jinx yeah. and calling her his daughter and saying yeah. that he never would have given her up. What do you think? No. Because some people think that he he's lying to her. No, no. I mean, Silco sees the world from his point of view. So when he says, I never would have given you to him, you're perfect. He, he means it. He means that she is the embodiment of the nation of Zon, that it's a broken place. And what can come out of that is something great, but you you can't pretend to be something else. You, you're not from Piltover if you're yeah. from Zon. And so to him, she is the perfect embodiment of who she was always meant to be. There's this, this power in chaos. And that, that's what Zon is. So yeah, to him, she is an element of Zon and his love for the place yeah. embodied in a daughter. So yeah, I mean, that's what it is. That, that is so moving he and so beautiful. What he says, 100%, he means that love is real. I never doubted it, for the record. I said that yeah. earlier that I thought that <laughs> he really did see Jinx for who she was and yeah, yeah. not oh, who no. everyone else was trying to make her be. We saw Vi in the early episodes 100%. saying she doesn't want Jinx or Powder at the time to grow up yeah. like she does. She wanted her to have more. Yeah, yeah. But well, Silco it, sees her for her Jinx. It's one thing to say that you wish a person would have been different. But it's another thing to say that you're okay. That whoever you are, whoever you turned out to be, is okay. Yeah, that's that's why he says. In your own words, you, know, you are perfect. You, you are, are perfect. perfect. You know. And that is one of the greatest lessons that we can take away from Arcane, from Silco himself, is to be perfect as you are, not who anyone else And wants go get you a drink be. at the last drop. And go get a drink at the last drop. <laughs> All we the have... profits come to me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we have Jackie down to the floor with an interview from one of our winners. I don't know if you saw it, but the Riot devs absolutely slapped around the international oh, yeah. team. That was a whole lot of, of Silco's shimmer slapping all over the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of shimmer slapping on the floor. <laughs> Jackie, take it away. Cheers. 